Hi everyone, this is Anne. Ladies, today I want to share with you this little suitcase that I made for a friend of mine. It's her birthday and she's a scrappy friend that I get to know here in my country. And she act she's actually um a teacher to my little cousins, you know. So it's such a small world and we became friends. And so it's her birthday and I made um this little thing for her. I know she liked this kind of look, you know. So I didn't use any lace or flowers, but I go for a more like a mixed media vintage look like this I don't know how you call this style but I am in love with it so um I built the suitcase from scratch guys so <laughs> it's not perfect but it works and I just want to let you know that if you want to build your own suitcase um like this you can actually use the tutorial that Annie Miss Gun Miss Garden Grove one showed us how to make um the stack books. You know, follow her tutorial, but instead of making the book spine, you just um cut out another piece of cardstock and glue it on the bottom here. So you know you have the bottom for your bag, um for your suitcase here. And for this one, I didn't really use anything much at all, guys. I um cut up the paper and I painted um the around the chipboard here with acrylic paint that I mix up by myself um you know so it's like kind of like um indigo color here and I totally love it and I think it goes perfectly with the shapes of fire distress ink that I use um on the paper so I painted the box cover it up with the paper and this paper I have only one piece and I totally love it guys it's from making memories and it's this one from the passport collection and I know my friend, she, she liked this kind of um, color and this style. So, you know, this paper would be really um, nice for her. And so I cut it up and use it here. And I have to tell you guys, on this project, um, I create all of these, um, um, how would you say it? Like um, these, I use stencils from Sasa Crafters. And Sa, thank you so much for giving me your stencils. I... I'm in love with them. You know, I used them on a few different projects already. This is the third one. And I totally love them. You know, like I can have like all kinds of, like all these layer layering looks here without um adding any bulk or to the paper. And you know, I the only thing I use I just put the stencil down and use distress ink all over it. And see I love these rows here. It's just like so pretty. And then I use the diamond shape and the dots here. I love them, so thank you so much. So this is the front of my suitcase. I really love it. You know, I use black suit distress ink to distress the edge of the paper. And I also chomped the corner off here, you know, with the corner chomper. I, I like this kind of look, so I think it looks really cute this way. And also I use the platinum stickers just to give some glitters around the box. So it looks like that. And... Then let me show you the back. On the back, I use Sa stencil as well, and I love it. Looks how pretty it is. And, you know, guys, I just want to let you know that even though you're not into, like, like a, like a super mixed media, um, thing that all of the ladies do, um, like me, I'm not, um, very good at that. So you can still have the, use, um, the, the stencils. I'm sorry, I'm stumbling. Um, you can also, you can still use stencils from Sa store. And create this kind of look and I think it looks really pretty I use this heart one and then these flowers I don't know where it is let me see these heart ones see <laughs> it comes with the paper so I use the I actually use the paper here I didn't even use the stencil yet so I use the paper here and then this is the brick you know the reverse brick and I love that and then your flower stencils oh they are gorgeous I love them really they they're so pretty i don't know where that one went but um i think you guys know which one i'm talking um i mean you guys can go to her store and check the stencil out oh, anyway um so that's what i did to the paper you know to cover the front and back of the suitcase and then i just use um these die cut shapes um it's the tim ho alteration dies can't remember the name but you know the one that has the key and the key holes and these strap so i just cut it out on a um a piece of paper it's actually like um corrugated board like this i don't have any grunge board so i use corrugated board cut it out and i painted it 
um, with the paint dabber, the gold dabber. I just dab it on, and then I um, heat use heat tool to to dry it. And you know, it's flexible enough to use as straps for your um, for your box. So it actually um, looks like this. And on the back, I just attach it to the box with two brads on each one. Just like that. And you know, I, I use a magnet to hold uh, the strap closed. And I actually hit, an, um, hit another magnet in inside the box there. So you know, it wouldn't show. And I don't have to ruin the front of my box. So it looks like that. And then over here, I created a little drawers. And this is the card that I made for her. She loves bunny, guys. So I used this image. And I'm going to show you that later. So over here... I just made these little drawers and all around the drawers here, um, I use the washi tape, guys. I, I'm too lazy to cut up paper and I think it goes so well with the color that I use and, you know, um, the paper pattern paper. So I use these washi tape just to wrap around the box so, you know, it hides all the, um, all the edge here. So it looks like that. And then the handle here, I also use washi tape. I cut up a piece of um, paper, you know, to make the strap, and then I just wrap washi tape all over it. So it becomes like really st sturdy. And then I attach the handles to the box with um, glossy accent. So it's stick like it's stuck here. So, you know, she can pull it out without, um, without, um, without this falling apart because if I use glue I'm not sure if it's gonna hold so well so you know glossy accents is actually really good glue um, when you want something to hold and then inside it looks like this guy so see um, I don't know if you can see but you know that is my magnet little magnet here I just um, use the washi tape to tape it on because and I also use the tape here as well so you know because um the tape is like really smooth and it makes the box like slide in and out a lot easier so it looks like that so that's my box my little suitcase and then this is the little card that I made and again I use SAS stencil I totally love it and it's such a tiny little card you know I use a stamp um the but um the Peter Rabbit stamp it's a clear stamp that I bought like ages ago guys and this one is Benjamin Bunny, so I just stamp him and color him in with um, my Copic markers. I haven't co used Copic markers in a while, so you know, um, um, but I love the colors because it's really bold and it's bright, you know, it goes perfect with um, the ink here. So that's what I did. And then over here, I use Martha Stewart Punch. Um, to punch the edge of the card and inside I leave it blank I'm gonna write her a note so you know it looks like that so and I hope she likes it so it looks like that and so this is my little suitcase guy let me know what you think and definitely check out um Sa stencil I'm, I'm sure you're gonna love them I, I will have to order some from her, you know, because she has so many different designs. And really, I want them all. Well, anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. And I'll come back with um, my two other projects that I use SAS stencil as well. All right. So thank you, everyone. And have a great day. Bye-bye. <music>